Hello, welcome everybody. We are back. Another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. And I feel like that's like way up high. So let me hold on one sec and let me kind of adjust that. Is that going to be better? I think that's a little bit better. So yeah. Hello, welcome, welcome. So glad to be back. Hello, Miss Monica. Oh my goodness, how has everybody been? It feels like absolutely forever since we have done a Facebook Live. So I am thrilled to be back. I've got so much good stuff to share with you guys. We went to Maui. I got my little Maui t-shirt on here. I loved it, mainly for the color. And then with the whales, um, we did not go to the Maui Whale Festival. Hello, Sharon. Um, I'm sure that was probably earlier, like before we were there, because whale season had pretty much ended, I think, by the time we were there. So. Anyway, but I love like the color of the shirt. So hello, Philomena. Thank you for the welcome back. I'm so, you know, it was really, really, really hard to leave. I absolutely loved Maui. Already like trying to figure out how we can get back there. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be back too. So yeah, you know, get back and I don't, well, no, I don't know about get back into the routine of things. No, definitely that's not fun. <laughs> It's been a rude awakening coming back. Lots and lots to do to get caught back up, but that's all right. Um, we're just, yeah, glad, you know, still glad to be back. So yeah, um, let's see, can I, I don't know if you guys can see it. I thought the back is kind of pretty on this t-shirt too. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but yeah, I was, um, we did a little shopping, not a lot of shopping, but um, I never really found a shirt that I loved. And then I saw this one, I was like, oh, perfect. I love turquoise. So yeah, we each got shirts, we got, um, oh, I got a visor too. I was very, I've been wanting a visor for a long time. So I got my, my Maui, what does it say? Ocean Love Maui Hawaii visor. Um, uh, let's see, did anybody else get, I think the kids got a hat for their dad. And then Stampin' Up! gave us all kinds of beautiful, awesome stuff. What do I want to show you guys first? Oh, well, my Ray-Bans, you guys, they gave us two pair of Ray-Bans. So then that was the whole like, okay, Cade, Lily, myself, who, the two of the three of us, who's going to get the Ray-Bans? So um, they let us come like check them out and try them on first and then we could decide which style we wanted. And Cade looked and he didn't really see anything. He thought maybe, why did he think they were more girly? I don't know. Anyway, he didn't see anything he um, was totally in love with. So that made it easy. So Lily and I got Ray-Bans. So yeah, I have my case, but the Ray-Bans are out in the car. But that was pretty awesome. I mean, that was, was that one of our first days that we were there? I think we got that awesome pillow gift. And what else? Oh, we got a hat. Look at, we got a fun sun hat that says, can I, <laughs> I don't know, I'm like, I, I'm trying to like look through there, but it says Maui and it's got the pineapple on it. And this, um, <clears throat> the Maui kind of logo there, isn't that so pretty? And then actually on the back, stamping up there too, if you guys can see that, staying it backwards. And the Maui's backwards too, but this kind of logo in the look too, um, kind of the colors, the kind of theme of colors, they used kind of throughout all of the pillow gifts. Cause then this was another fun, we got this cute um, beach bag also, right? So there's the logo. You guys can see if I kind of try to zoom that bag in right there, there's the Maui logo, but with the fun little pom-pom. Yeah, there, the Maui with the pineapple. Okay, if I hold it, you guys can kind of, there, now I'm like, that looks sideways. There we go, yeah, that's it. So cute bag with the green kind of on the inside. So I'm gonna say this kind of looks like our new, um, pale papaya color right and then i feel like this green isn't it funny i'm like blanking out on color names i haven't had to talk about like colors in a while so whatever the in color green just jade kind of looks like just jade to me oh and then the kids actually got these which they didn't even end up playing with but um if they had anybody under 18 came on the trip they gave them these little this toy <laughs> i'm like what is it i don't know it's got the little ball what do you call these things i don't even know Okay, Nikki, you're saying evening evergreen. Okay, yeah, maybe that's it. That could be it too. Yeah, and then uh, this fun, fun, beautiful blanket actually. And again, does it say Maui on it? Let's see. Can you guys kind of see it with the tassels? Gotta have a pretty blanket with tassels. I don't think it does. Oh yeah, no luck. Oh, here we go with the big Stampin' Up logo on it right there. So it's kind of folded in half, but you guys get the idea, right? Beautiful, kind of a, I'm gonna say this is soft succulent with pale papaya leaves on it would be my guess, but just a really pretty blanket. And then, um, ooh, one more thing to show you guys. We got, we got flip flops we got to pick out and I wore these on the trip. Aren't those fun, like 
botanical, floral, beautiful paddles. Thank you, Nikki. You are always so good at helping me out when I'm like brain dead on what I'm even talking about. Um, oh, sorry, that was pretty loud. Did we get, I, I feel like we got so much more. Well, actually, honestly, we got a bunch of product from the next, um, <laughs> did, did he, no, I did not. Okay, so funny story about that. I'm gonna come back to that in just a sec, Sharon. I have to share that like ridiculous story also. Um, what was I talking about? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be one of those days, isn't it, where I can't even, maybe I should just talk about what Sharon's asking me about. Um, oh, it's right there. It's so close on the tip of my tongue, on the, in the corner of my head, but it's a back corner. You guys, seriously, what was I just talking about? What did we get? What did we get? I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Well, if you guys can help me remember, um, I can get back on track on that. But in the meantime, I'll tell my funny story. Um, Anna, yes, we did have a great time. <laughs> hey, Kay down in North Carolina. Oh yeah, new product. That's, thank you, Philomena. I knew I was like, I, I know I was like starting to talk about something. Yes, and thank you for the share too, Kay. I so appreciate your share so very, very much. So share throughout the video. I'd love to have you do that for me. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of new product from the next July to December mini catalog that actually, so they kind of um, explained a little bit more what's going on, like globally, like shipping, like all over the world is just kind of a mess and has been ever since COVID started. And it's really, truly affecting kind of the lead times on a lot of the products that we purchase. Um, so because of that, the July to December catalog has now essentially become an August to December catalog. So the kind of the holiday mini catalog, if you will, isn't going to start until August 1st instead of July 1st um, because of so many delays. They just didn't want to put the catalog out and then have everybody get really frustrated when they go to order things and everything's on back order or not orderable because we don't have it yet. So they do their best. You know, they have been ordering like, I don't know, I think they said like four to six weeks further in advance than they used to order to try to kind of, you know, deal with these issues. Um, they will air freight product to us in the U.S. if it's going to, you know, if they can, if it's going to take longer. Um, so they're trying to do lots of things. Obviously, that's a huge cost when you have to air freight things instead of like ship them by ship and container, right? So, um, yeah, but we got a bunch of new, the new... Um, July to December mini catalog. I just want to call it holiday catalog because that's easier to say. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys that probably in the next couple of weeks um, because as demonstrators, we'll be able to start pre-ordering on, I think it's, must be June 1st. <laughs> yeah, on June 1st. June 1st, July 1st. July 1st. Maybe it's July 1st because we're not going to go live until August now. Um, so yeah, so there's really no reason to show you guys that too much because even the only way you could get it is if you're a demonstrator or if you buy the starter kit and get it in your kit and then you can get it. So I'll be showing you guys that in the next little bit, but I thought I'll hold, I'll kind of spread it out a little bit. Um, I got a bunch of swaps too. I'm going to show you guys those on next week's um, video again because I'm like I have so many things I want to share with you guys today we can't do it all today so we'll do a little bit each week over the next few weeks but yeah the trip you guys oh my goodness if anybody is not already a demonstrator and wants to get that awesome starter kit deal I tell you what do what you can to earn these trips because Stampin Up oh I mean beyond spoiled guys this the resort itself I, I kept saying like Okay, this is like a super extravagant like resort. Like I'm thinking, you know, never in my wildest dreams would I be able to afford to stay at a place like this. I mean, it was amazing. Just the the grounds. I think that's what it was like being on in like a botanical garden almost with the you know, like the palm trees and the greens and the fronds and just all the like lush kind of greenery and landscape. And then all these really cool kind of tropical plants, tons of orchids, just in lots of colors too. Like, you know, the leaves on like, I don't know what you even call these things. You know, they're like yellows and oranges and so not just green kind of greenery. There was a lot of that, but then lots of and I felt like it was kind of on a on a hill, I guess I would say, that went down to the ocean. And so lots of, I felt like lots of different levels, um, you know, where you'd like walk through all that green flauna, 
fauna, flora, whatever you want to say, um, but like these cute like walk pathway kind of things and then there'd be steps up to the next level. So you could kind of get up to different floors um, within the resort from the outside too with like kind of just walking through all these like walking paths. Um, in the beginning, it was one of those like, okay, we're totally going to get lost. And then, you know, as you got used to kind of where you were going, although half the time I would like go up instead of down and down instead of up because I, I don't know, everything was like kind of um, like I'm just on lots of different levels and I can never remember like what level are we on so anyway and we just had a beautiful view kind of out to the grounds and then out to the ocean too that was like you know our awesome like ocean view room like seriously um, pools tons and tons of pools um, I think I don't know seven or nine different pools they're not huge but and you could actually there were like little water slides to like you'd start at the top and there'd be like a little water slide go down to another pool a little water slide down to another pool so Cade especially he was like a, a little kid on this trip like he couldn't sit still like he was like come on guys let's do this let's do that like he he just was always wanting to go 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 Lily and I were a little more like ah oh, Cade we could just relax at the pool for a little while so we did we did some relaxing they sent us on two amazing um, excursions we got to pick from I don't know if there were like six or eight, eight different options but we did like a snorkel and sail adventure so snorkeling on the, at Malakini Crater, which is a super famous, it's kind of like, um, it was created, I think all the islands were created by volcanoes, but this is out in the water a little ways off from our resort. We could actually see this Malakini Crater. I didn't realize that's what it was when I was seeing kind of this land mass, but it's kind of, so I'm trying to kind of make it, I guess it goes like this. So kind of a like a half moon shape crater that was formed by a volcano out in the water. But then the reef comes like it actually was, you know, really shallow, like way out in the water. But then I could actually my feet actually could touch the reef area um, as in the area where we were snorkeling too. So, you know, your head's down in there and it's super like crystal clear blue water. You can just see everything, like all of the different coral like growing on the reef and then all the beautiful fish in the water too. So, and then it was a beautiful boat that we went on, um, like a big catamaran boat. So that was cool just to have a ride on the ocean too. Um, and then what else did we do? We did uh, zip lining pretty mild zip lining. There was kind of like a, well, we took a really cool ride up um, to the, I, we went into like the kind of the base or up toward Haleakala, like the Mount Haleakala um, to do the zip lining. So we kind of went up a ways, which was cool just because you got great views, you know, going up the mountain, coming down and like, you know, the ocean, that was my biggest thing, guys, the ocean it's an island, right? And there's like a road that goes basically all around Maui for the most part. So as you're driving on kind of like two lane road, basically, you have this amazing view of the ocean, like almost the entire way. It was just mind blowing how much the views, like every, and then the different um, heights of things too. You know, like sometimes you're up high, so you have kind of a cliff view. Sometimes you're down low. So you're you're more at ocean level beaches all right along there too so cars just stopped and parked and you know people hanging out at the beach swimming but just you know surfing doing all that kind of stuff so it, it was I could go on and on and on about this trip I think it was it was a much needed trip too that's what I realized I didn't quite realize like I mean I kind of knew because we just hadn't been able to travel very much lately right for for a long time. So I think I I didn't realize how much I have like, I forgot like how much I enjoy traveling and seeing new places. So um, let's see, what is Nikki saying? Your pictures were great, you look so tiny. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki, that's very sweet. Yeah, my kids, I'm definitely like the short one in the family. Um, my ex-husband is 6'2", so they definitely got dad's height and not mom's height, which I'm sure they're all thankful for. So yeah, I'm like the teeny, I'm the shorty in the family now. That happened in the last couple of years. So yeah, but so you guys got to see a lot of pictures. So I posted um, on my personal page, but it, I, it's all public too. So um, if because I, I didn't post anything on our Facebook group, but if you find, just find me, Amy Ferlici, you'll see I posted a couple of different posts with a whole bunch of pictures. So you can see kind of our time on the island. And I took a ton of pictures at the resort itself because it was just so beautiful. I'm already thinking like, 
okay, if I ever go back, how can I like sneak back onto, you wouldn't even really have to sneak back onto the ground. So you could just walk right up really. But cause there was a school walking path, like right along the ocean too. So you could kind of, we walked into other resorts and things and check stuff out too. So, but you know, I want to go back to the pool and I'm like, oh, you need a wristband. So I'm trying to figure out, <laughs> I'm like, maybe you can get a day pass to this place if I ever get to go back. So yeah, it was just one of those trips of a lifetime. And now I want to do it again. Like I, I don't want to do it just once in my lifetime. We got to go back at some point. So yeah, sorry. I was like, I wasn't even really going to go on and on and on about it, but I'm just so thankful, so excited, so grateful that we were able to do that trip. Um, especially with my kids too, because Cade's just graduated. Actually, he had graduation the Friday, like a Friday while we were gone. So he missed graduation, which was kind of a bummer. I think he was all right with it. He definitely saw kids, you know, posting social media and all of that. Um, but he's like, yeah, mom, we're in, we're in Maui. Like this is, Maui's way better than like being in Alma for graduation. So I still think there might've been a little part that, you know, that was kind of a bummer, but this trip has been planned for forever. And who knew, like we, you know, yes, we did know when graduation was, not until after the school year started. And at that point, who knew if you're really gonna actually have graduation or not. So we just decided to not switch plans um, to be back for it. So I gotta get some pictures of him in a cap and gown though, for sure. So yeah, yeah, it was awesome. So, okay. All right. So let's get back to it. We have so much good stuff to do and play with today. So this week, and where is my, oh, it's right here in front of my face. We are going to be playing with, this is an awesome stamp set called Biggest Wish. So obviously you can see they've got the thanks, birthday, happy, hello, and friend. And then it's repeated the same sentiments here. So you can kind of layer um, them on each other. And I'll show you, I made some really fun cards with this stamp set. So this is what we're gonna play with later on today is that biggest wish, biggest, yeah, biggest, biggest wish, not biggest wishes. I don't know what I said, um, but the biggest wish stamp set, okay? Um, and let's see what else. Oh, so real quick, I wanna do a quick reminder that the mini catalog, this, the January to June mini catalog. So uh, is it next Tuesday? Yeah, so June 1st, next Tuesday, they are going to announce um, everything that's retiring. I think we already know, we knew what was retiring. Um, but I'll make sure that that gets posted on the Facebook group and I'll be emailing about that. But then in addition, things are going to be discounted too. So it'll be like the last chance with discounts, um, available on product from the mini catalog. You already actually essentially know what was in this catalog that's carrying over. Cause if it's in, right, if it's in our current, most current annual catalog, then it carried over from this catalog to this catalog. And if it's not in here, it's retiring and you can maybe get it on sale while it's still available um, starting on next week on Tuesday. Okay, so be on the lookout for that. If you haven't gotten products from here and you don't want to miss out on anything, I would put your order in right now because once those, you know, once those um, sale like last chance list comes out, come out, then things start kind of flying off the shelf basically. Okay, so keep that in mind. And then you got basically the next month while supplies last on product in this catalog, okay? All right, let's see what else do I want. I always have to check my notes. I don't know how anybody does a Facebook Live without notes, so I apologize. I'm always having to like, just to make sure that I tell you guys everything. Yep, okay. Oh, so one thing that I wanna make sure everybody knows about is they've been doing a promotion all month long, um, the entire month of May, where you get an extra $25 in free host rewards with a $250 order. So if you have like a huge list with wish list, you know, if you just want to get a ton and ton of products, um, go ahead and put that $250 order in because you get, um, oh, I want to double check. <clears throat> Let's look at the host rewards. Um, yeah. So starting, yep, you get 10% in host rewards. You get $25 for free normally, but right now during the month of May, you actually get an additional $25. So 25 plus 25 is $50 in free product on a $250 order. So isn't that awesome, right? I would say your best, your best way to go is if you have a huge wish, wish list, get the starter kit if you haven't done that already, right? You get to pick $155 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax, that shipping fee is waived. I think I figured out that you get, where are my notes? You get like seven, it's basically like getting $75 for free 
on the starter kit, right? Then come back and put your big $250 order in. And you can essentially, if you get the starter kit, because what do we have just a couple more days through Monday, the 31st, if you buy the starter kit today, generally, unless there's some kind of problem, they're gonna email you your demonstrator ID and password like within a minute of like putting your, um, your starter kit order in. So then you can put your big $250 order in and get $50 in free product. Plus you get your demonstrator discount, which is 20% off of your order too. So just an awesome time to like be shopping with Stampin' Up, get the starter kit, get put your big order in, get that $25 additional free in host products. So, and just so you know too, you can pick, so in the back of the catalog, they have, let's see, for this one, where is it? Maybe it's this page right here. Do we not have host product? Am I going crazy? Oh, yeah, it's right here in front of my face. Yeah, so you can pick from this stamp set is, is a host only stamp set. So you can see um, they are telling me it's $12.50 for this stamp set, um, the Sweet Sampler stamp set right there. So $12.50, that's a great deal, right? So they give you kind of a bargain on the host items that are in the back of this catalog or in our um, most recent annual catalog. Um, so you can get those things with your host dollars, or if you don't want any of those things, you can get whatever you want too. So just keep that in mind. You've got lots of options there also, okay? So great time to do your shopping if you've got that huge wish list, especially from the, the um, most current, the, the new annual catalog, right? Okay, what am I gonna show you guys next? Ooh, so I am doing, this is always fun, every summer I do something called the Super Summer Giveaway. So I wanna make sure everybody knows about this. It starts on June 1st, which is next Tuesday, okay? So basically you earn entries into a drawing that I do at the beginning of September, and I love to give away, that'll be new mini catalog, the July to December mini catalog, so essentially the holiday catalog. I'll get product from that catalog, and I'm gonna be giving that away in September based on um, entries that go in the drawing all summer long. So you have June, July, and August. This is how you get entries into the super summer giveaway drawing, okay? So you get one entry for each event that you attend, and an event is actually also the class to go kit. So if you purchase one of the class to go kits, if you do, if you get the June, July, and August kits, you're gonna get three entries into the drawing. Or if you come to an event locally, as many events as you come to, you're gonna get one entry for each event that you attend. You get two entries for every $50 that you spend, and that's either locally through classes or online. So any online order over $50 gets two entries in the drawing and I'll just be keeping track of that all summer long. You get another two entries in the, into the drawing if you post a picture of a project that you've made right here on our Facebook group. You have to use the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway because what I'll do is at the very end of the summer, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do a search with that hashtag Super Summer Giveaway and anybody that's posted a picture of anything that they've made, so I'm encouraging lots of like sharing of what you guys are up to, right, all summer long. Post that, use the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway and you get two entries in the drawing, okay? Um, also, if you bring a new guest to class, you get two entries into the drawing. If you join a club like the Simple Beautiful Card Club, the Class To Go Club for my not local um, friends, or the Scrapbook Club, or actually Paper Pumpkin and the In Color Club all count also. So local and long distance, anybody can participate in a club. You get three entries into the drawing. And then the last couple of ways, you get five entries if you buy the starter kit, or another five entries if you hold a private party or class here and I'm happy to help you do that. We can do that actually over at my new location at the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma. We've got lots of room to spread out. We can have some stamping fun together. Okay, so five entries in the drawing. Again, it's happening June, July, and August. So you got lots of time, lots of ways to get your name in the drawing and we'll give away some fun new product from the next mini catalog at the beginning of September. Okay, so I'll be mentioning that throughout um, the summer and I'll have it posted on Facebook Live in case you can't remember all the ways you can get entries, but I'll be keeping track of that and giving those entries out 
all summer long, which makes me think I gotta make my little tokens. I gotta get going on that. So starting on June 1st, I'll be passing those out at events and um, even online, I'll be tracking all of that too and get your name in the drawing, okay? Um, and then also just don't forget, I um, and I meant to bring, but I, I don't have it all fully cut. I have three more designer series paper shares left. Um, so if anybody is interested in getting a, a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in our current, in our brand new, right, annual catalog, it is $42.00. If you're local and um, select porch pickup, and if not, it's an additional nine dollars, so forty-two and nine, fifty-one dollars to get the um, designer series paper share shipped to you. So if anybody's interested, you can comment right on here. I can send you a PayPal link. You can pay me cash, check, credit card, whoever you want to do that. Uh, but I have three designer series paper shares left, and again, a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in our new annual catalog. You actually get a sample too of the in color, the, the brand new in colors, um, that designer series paper as well, okay? And then I'm kind of putting one last call out for the in color club too, so don't forget that. Um, that is, I remember all my numbers here, $48 per month, you get a full pack of cardstock, the ink pad, the refill, the ribbon, the marker, the blends, and the designer series paper. So you get seven different items all in, for example, if your first month is polished pink, you get all of those products in polished pink. And then the next month you'd get the next color and so on. One month you are the host and you get the in color embellishments that are in our brand new in colors. Hey, oh, Teresa, hello, welcome. Okay, I will get a paper share sent out to you. I love um, that you wanna do that. Yeah, there's some awesome, it's just such a great way to see all of the paper in the catalog and decide which one you're like, oh, I totally love that one. Cause you never know, a lot of times, most times, honestly, the paper is so much prettier in person than they can portray in the catalog. So great way to check it all out. So yes, I will get, so now I'm down to two. I have two paper shares left, okay guys? Um, okay, so back to In Color Club though. I was saying you get the, the one month you are the host, host, and I just let you know, I email you and say, you know, next month you're the host for In Color Club. What do you want for free? You get $20 in free stuff, whatever you want. You can get those host, exclusive host items in the back of the catalogs or anything you want. And then you also get those In Color embellishments. Okay, so yeah, let me know. And I've been posting, I have links above this video after I post it today. I'll have a link to the Designer Series Paper Share and to the In Color Club if you wanna um, just uh, click on that link and you can get signed up right then and there. So it's super duper easy. Sharon, your name keeps popping up on here too. It's so funny, it keeps saying Sharon Greening is watching. Sharon Greening is watching and it keeps popping up again. And again, and again. I don't know, there's something funny about maybe how your, your device watches, I guess, so. Um, yeah, crazy stuff, but that's all right. I know Sharon's watching, so at least I, at least I know one person is. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yes, the new host. Yes, I'm actually going to be showing that designer series paper, Anna, um, on the cards that we're going to make. So I'll explain a little bit more about what Anna's mentioning there. The host designer series paper. I don't think they've ever done that before either that I can remember anyway, maybe a long, long time ago. So usually it's stamp sets that are host items, but they put a pack of designer series paper as a host exclusive item now also. So fun choice, something new and different for us. Okay, I think we are ready to do our first drawing. So this week we are going to give away, these are the Elegant Faceted Gems. So these carried over from our last annual catalog and they're just beautiful, right? I always talk about bling and how much I love bling. So we've got kind of a clear faceted gem. These are, I think, a petal pink and then those are a white. You can kind of see them sparkle if I tip it just the right way. Okay, so you guys know the drill, right? Share the video, or if you haven't signed up for my email list, do that and your name goes in the drawing. Same thing for next week. Yes. Oh, Sharon's saying, I've, I've heard that happens on other Facebook Lives. Is it, the, is it other ones that you watch, Sharon? Or is it just some special person um, each week that keeps showing up over and over and over again? I don't know why that is. Yeah. It's not bothering me, it's just funny how I'm like, okay, Sharon's definitely watching because her name keeps popping up. <laughs> so, okay, all right, here we go. The lucky winner of the elegant faceted gems. You know, I always have to like toss these around, make sure I'm 
giving everybody a fair shot. We have Miss Debbie Green. All right, congratulations, Debbie. You are the proud winner, the new owner of the Elegant Facet of Gems. So I will get these mailed out to you. All right, I'm gonna scoot that. I always have to dump those out and get the names in the drawing for the next one that we will do in just a few moments. Okay, so what are we gonna give away on our next Facebook Live, which should be next Friday. Um, I don't see any reason why I can't do it next Friday, so I'm very excited about that back-to-back, -back, right? Um, let's see, when I watch the replay, Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I guess Facebook just picks one lucky person and keeps like doing that somehow. So, okay. So we are going to give away on our next Facebook live for sharing the video. And I don't have this all bundled up yet because I literally just cut it, but we're going to give a sample. Plus I think it's so pretty too of our newest in color ribbon, right? So we have, can I remember? I've got soft succulent, pale papaya, uh, polished pink, fresh freesia, and evening evergreen. I'm thinking, yeah, you know what? It probably, um, I bet that, no, it doesn't look quite as green. Anyway, I was thinking, I was looking back at all my little um, gifts from Maui. So anyway, yes, this is what you'll get. And I make sure that it doesn't look quite like this when it gets um, to you. But I just think it's so pretty, right? It's this little bundle. One yard each, a sample of all of our new in color ribbon is what you will what you will receive for um, sharing the Facebook Live video or signing up for my email list, okay? So we'll draw for that little bundle on next week's Facebook Live, okay? And thank you, Lisa. So Lisa's name is gonna go in the drawing right there. She shared the video, and I know a couple of other of you have already shared the video. So thank you, your name will be going in next week's drawing too. I love that you're watching from Wisconsin. And Lisa, I hope your weather is a little bit better than ours. Hopefully you're sending us good weather because this this weather is really, I'm wearing a t-shirt and like, I don't want you to see my arms because I think I have goosebumps on them. I'm trying to like ignore it because it's supposed to be the beginning of summer, right? It's Memorial Day weekend this weekend, right? Oh, okay, so it'll happen, it'll happen eventually. Um, okay, so we need to welcome, we have a new Inkspired stamper. Her name is Sandra Johnson. She bought the starter kit through uh, Sunday Ostrander, who is also an Inkspired stamper. Oh no, you had snow this morning. <laughs> oh, well, we've had rain, pretty ugly rain. And actually I heard my heat kick on a couple of times, which I was like, that's really sad. At the end of May that your heat is still having to kick on, isn't it? So yeah, no snow, but it's been rainy and dreary, but it's gonna get better as the day and weekend go on. So I'm sure your weather will, have, will happen that way too, Lisa. <laughs> right, we hope anyway, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so congratulations and welcome to Sandra Johnson who bought the starter kit. She got that awesome starter kit deal. Again, you pick $155 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping. That's like $75 for free. If you put a $155 order in, I don't even, can't tell you what it would cost, but it wouldn't be $104.94 in Michigan with our 6% sales tax. Or if you're not in Michigan, $99 plus your sales tax, it's under $110 to get all of that stuff, $155 in product. So it's an awesome, awesome deal. Um, so yeah, there's still time. We've got through this Monday, May 31st to get that starter kit. And thank you, uh, Sharon, that's sweet of you to welcome Sandra to our group. I appreciate that very much. And then we had a promotion to qualified team member, Miss Tammy Mitchell reached. So you get to qualified team member when you have $900 in sales after you buy the starter kit. So Tammy Mitchell just did that. So we said congratulations to her earlier this month at our other Inkspired Stampers Facebook group. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Tammy because I know she likes to watch the Facebook Live videos too. So congratulations, Miss Tammy, on reaching qualified qualified team member and she receives a $25 shopping spree from me for reaching qualified team member. And that is true for anyone that is an expired stamper in my first, second, and third level. So if you buy the starter kit through me or people in my team in my downline up to that third level, you can um, reap all of those benefits to $25 in free product, whatever you want when you reach qualified team member, which is easy to do, right? $900 in sales because you get your 20% discount too, right? So. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, yeah, so congratulations, Miss Tammy. All right, I think, ooh, oh, I know what I wanna show you guys. Our 
our swaps from our team meeting. We had that just before I went to Maui, and so we hadn't had another Facebook Live, so I wanted to show you guys um, those swaps that everyone, we had, oh, we did a shoebox swap. I guess I should say that. I gotta get a sip of water. One moment, please. Mm. Mm. And you know what I'm realizing? I forgot to show you, because it's kind of long, so I didn't want it to like cover my Maui, but you guys can't even really see the Maui thing, can you, when I, I'm on my tippy toes here, but here I have to show you this necklace. They gave us this too, which if it's going to stop. So it's got the logo, the Maui logo on it also, if I could put it in the right. So it's just a pretty gold kind of medallion type of just beautiful though. I love it, right? Oh, uh-oh, Jenny, I almost forgot to tune in. I'm glad you remembered. Yay. I'm glad you could join us, Miss Jenny. So yay. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay, so yeah, we were talking about swaps. So perfect timing, Jenny. I'm just going to show all of the swaps that we made at our shoebox swap at our team meeting earlier this month. So this first one was designed by Susie Meecumber, and I love, she let us pick. So, because um, you know this paper comes only in two sheets um, in each color, right? So we got to pick whatever color we wanted to use too, which was kind of fun. So one of my favorite stamp sets that artist blooms maybe can't remember the name of it now you know it's been so long ago that's from like the mini catalog this is not retiring though and then this is some of our new designer series paper so isn't that so pretty love that one with the little happy birthday then actually miss charlene mog demonstrated this one and i have got to at some point i'm going to show you guys so just barely kind of peeking out from back here she showed us how to stamp using the what was it? The bubble wrap. It's like a bubble wrap technique, I guess I'll call it. So super fun and cute, makes all these polka dots. You can't see too, you kind of get the idea, right, with the polka dots. So I'm gonna come up with another something so I can show you guys, because that was so fun, so cute. So she demonstrated how to do it, and then our swap and the shoebox swap was actually this card, so we all got to do it ourselves. So super fun, cute, simple, easy idea, which I always love. So that was fun. And thank you for sharing that idea, Miss Charlene. So Jennifer, Miss Jenny, Jenny, I guess, Jenny Boffman, um, designed this card for us. And this is a cute, on one of the little mini note cards and envelopes. So we've got the envelope right there and that's the mini card, right? With what did we write on the inside? Sweet as a peach, so cute, right? And this is some of that new peach suite of products. So Jenny, Basically, from the minute she saw the annual catalog, she had been dying to order this product. And and this happened to me too. Didn't realize when the annual catalog went live that she couldn't order anything and everything she wanted out of it during the pre-order. There was that select list. So she was really bummed because she couldn't get this product. So like then the minute the you know the catalog went live, um, she was all ready to order this product. So that was fun that she helped um, and shared that with us on um, our our swap, our shoebox swap too. So hello, Miss Deb, I'm glad you could join us live. That's awesome. Okay, this was a um, swap that Jamie Sanders made. Um, and she, oh, I love like these cool trees. Um, I had not played with these dies yet. I hadn't seen them yet. So I love those like three or four trees in a row right there. Um, and then with some of our new in colors too. So isn't that such a pretty card with the background there also? Thank you for sharing the video, Miss Deb. I appreciate that too. And then Sunday Ostrander designed this card right here featuring that, um, oh, I, I am having a really hard time here. That is a firefly. Yes, featuring the firefly suite. Yes, yeah, Susan, they're all beautiful, aren't they, right? And this was another one where we got to pick our designer series paper and card base, so everyone looked a little bit different. Um, so I love that one as well. And then Miss Sharon Greening, this card is kind of a fun one, right? So it looks simple, right? Hey, Jamie, I just showed your card. I'm glad you're here. I just showed your shoebox swap. Yay, you'll have to rewind like a hot minute and you'll be able to see that again. Anyway, okay, so this card, this was Sharon Greening's card. I guess I should, oh yeah, we gotta open it that way, don't we, right? Isn't that so cool? And it is actually a gift card holder. So this pocket right here, you can slide, I think I added too much adhesive. Um, <laughs> it says Sharon's watching again, so yay, we're, we're showing Sharon's card right now too. Um, but this, so it's great for like a graduation card was what she was thinking of, right? 
Okay, Deb, you want one of the designer series paper shares? Okay, so I've got two sold. I've got one designer series paper share left if anyone is interested. All right, so let's see. What else did I want to say about this one? Yeah, but yeah, so it's got the, I was trying to read on here, the hip, hip, hooray, you did it. So, so cute. Let's, and any, um, you know, I think you could kind of, this could be a great kind of generic in terms of colors, or you could design it specifically for whatever school colors um, they're graduating from. So super cute. I loved kind of just that little extra, that little extra fold, right? So isn't that so cute? And very simple, like a little accordion fold on the inside. And then this was my swap card. Oh, did I? Yeah, Sunday put a dragonfly. Oh, yeah, you know what? I don't think I did do that, did I? Yeah, I must have missed that, Sharon. Okay, so this was my swap card, um, a simple, I love this stamp set though, I love, um, and I can't remember the name of that one now either, um, but it was, it's a great one, <laughs> whatever it is. I love this paper too, the hand, I know this one, this is the hand penned designer series paper, um, but yeah, just a simple card there also. And then, kind of following with that theme, because I love that stamp set so much, I um, made these cards for anyone that made it into my $600 club. So I'll show you this card and explain. This one I actually completely cased from Erica Serwin at Pink Buckaroo Designs. Basically, I pretty much love everything that Erica does, so I always am like checking out what she's making and if I need. So for example, this card for $600 club, um, I don't demonstrate it on here, so I, I just love to grab ideas, um, other cute ideas from other people that I enjoy their work, right? So what I do for $600 club, oh, Firefly, thank you. <laughs> I, I was like, I thought I had a dragonfly on there, but maybe there was, then I'm like, maybe those gold bees are really dragonflies and I didn't put one of those on, but yeah. Okay, thanks, Sharon. See, that's, I am still, I'm like, I have vacation brain, I have Maui brain, I think is what I'm gonna call it. You know, where like you kind of know what you're talking about, but you kind of don't. That's kind of where I'm at right now, so. Yeah, okay, so this card, $600 club. What I do is anybody on my team that sells more than $600 in a month makes it into what I call the $600 club. And I love to do that because kind of an incentive. I send, um, actually these cards, I send to my top five in sales every month. So um, anybody in my first, second, and third levels, whatever um, level you are, if you're the top seller, you get a card all the way through the fifth, um, level and then in addition if you make it into the $600 club I send you a free embellishment as a congratulations for making it into the $600 club the reason I chose $600 is because we actually <laughs> yeah that's it I'm still in the wrong time zone yeah if that were the case Sharon it would be like 6 18 in the morning and that then I would have a really good excuse because my brain doesn't function super well at 6 18 in the morning that's what I'm going with I'm on a different time zone I like that Sharon I like that idea a lot yeah that was a big time difference too six hours we did a good job though of switching over as soon as we got there we just I think I stayed up for like 24 hours straight, which I'm not really good with, good with that. That's like rough for me to stay up for that long. Um, but we did it and we were able to convert over pretty quickly. And then on the way back to, I think we did a pretty good job. I This weekend, I'm gonna really convert fully back over to Michigan time, I think, but I've done a pretty good job. I, I, I don't know, I'm dragging a little bit, but that's right, we've got a long weekend, so it'll be fine. Okay, so back to what I was talking about, $600 club. If you make it into the $600 club, you get that free embellishment. Why do I do that? Because that's where I was at. Um, because, because we get extra, we earn extra commission when we sell at least $600 in a month. So not only do you get your 20% discount, but then you earn an additional, I, I can't remember the percentage now either, but anyway, you earn additional income, additional commission when you have more than $600 in sales in a month. Then it actually increases at various levels and you can earn actually up to another 20% in income. So you can like get 40% income on anything you sell. Um, if you sell a lot in a month, over $3,500, I think is at that point, but it starts at $600. So that's where I like to um, help people get to. So yeah, I needed to bring warmer weather back. Yeah, that's for sure, Deb. Although I kind of did, and then I don't know what happened to it, but you know, it's coming, right? It'll be here soon enough. So, okay. All right. I think, let's see, we're going to do our other drawing and then I'm going to actually start stamping. I knew I had a lot to talk about, right? 
I feel like I always have a lot to talk about, don't I? Okay, here we go. Let's get that out of the way. Something's just driving by that caught my eye. Sorry. So I'm like, ooh, what's that? <laughs> okay, um, we are, yes, I think we are ready to do our first drawing for the Maui special. So if you guys missed it, hopefully you didn't. I know a number of you took advantage of the Maui special, which meant that you get with every $50 order, you get these two cards that I demonstrated on Facebook Live, on our last Facebook Live, plus eight additional cards. So you get 10 free cards in total as a thank you from me, right? You also got to pick from either the May Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial or the May Free Embellishment, which are, have you guys seen these? I don't think I had them when I, when I mentioned this before. These are the in color, they're like a square gem, last year's in colors that are still around for one more year. So these awesome gems. So you pick from either the PDF Tutorial or the gems, and then you also get your name in the drawing for this awesome sunny sentiments stamp set and if you guys haven't seen this one i love i'm going to read these sentiments to you we've got thought you could use some sunny thoughts today that's that one right there a happy hello to you and i love the mixed fonts it's one of my favorite things um i know we've been out of touch but i think about you more often than you know love that sentiment too right um, hoping your day is filled with all the best things. Awesome sentiment. I love that. Thank you for all the little things you do and for your big heart. Oh, that's awesome too, right? So great sunny sentiments. Like those are all like you can get a little bit teary like reading those like as I, I don't know you guys, I'm like, I'm too teary these days. Um, but yeah, I don't, I just love, I think I would love to get a card with any of those sentiments on it, right? They're all great sentiments. So one lucky winner, we are gonna draw for that right now and I'm gonna stop talking. Oh my gosh, okay, make me stop talking please, okay? I think Lily is still upstairs. She's probably like, oh my God, mom. Yeah, please stop talking, <laughs> which I won't, but you know. Okay, so the lucky winner of the Sunny Sentiment stamp set. Now, just don't forget, everybody gets 10 free cards of either the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. And one lucky person also, just all for a $50 order, right? Ladies, this is pretty, pretty good time, pretty big stuff here. Okay, the lucky winner of the Sunny Sentiment stamp set, I have one name in my hand, is Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. I will be sending out the Sunny Sentiment stamp set along with those 10 free cards and either the tutorial or the embellishments. Okay, all right, are we ready? I think I had to just double check. Oh, I gotta tell you guys actually what we're gonna give away. Um, next Friday, Facebook Live, put at least eight, this, we're back to our regular $30 order in, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the Biggest Wishes stamp set, which is what we're gonna play with right now. So this is a fresh new set. I've got my set right over here that we're gonna to use to play with. So someone will be the lucky winner of the Biggest Wish stamp set on next Friday's Facebook Live. Just put at least a $30 order in. I'm gonna give you the host code. It's also always um, in all the links um, above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded. And it's always on my blog at Gathering Inc. with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So let's, yeah, turn our heads away. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good to go here. Okay, turn your heads away. We're gonna fly through the air. I'm gonna give you that host code when we get that switch down there. Okay, hello, Miss Vina. I don't think I said hello to you yet. Okay, all right, turn your heads away, ladies. Let's see, let me make sure we're good here. Ooh, that feels like it's gonna like tip a little bit. Sorry, I gotta fix that. Okay, that looks good. All right, we're gonna flip it. Camera down, okay. Oh, look, I have some little sticky on there too. Let's see, try to get things situated a little bit better. There we go, okay. So there's our host code for the month. The Y9REYP3Z is what you're going to want to use when you order online to get your name in the drawing to win that Biggest Wish stamp set, okay? All right, scoot that up out of the way a little bit. Make sure this is in view. And, okay, here we go, ladies. I finally get to show you. Okay, so here is our first card. 
using the biggest wish stamp set. So this is what I was talking about. I love this, again, the mixed font, like with the little black, black happy, and then the birthday. Isn't that so cute? And I love kind of layering those over top of each other. I just think that is awesome. So it was this was one that really caught my eye in the catalog. Um, and I think it's just kind of fun that they have the thanks and the birthday and the happy, the hello and the friend. So you could do happy birthday all in, in that font or happy birthday all in this font, or you can kind of mix it up and do one of each, which is what I love to do with the stamp set. So let me show you. And the other thing, oh yes. So Anna mentioned this earlier in, I'm gonna show you the back of our new annual catalog are those host exclusive items. Okay, I guess I flipped too far. We've got join stamping up, here we go. So here's the host and urn. So we've got a couple of different stamp sets and then a pack of designer series paper now that you can get for free with your host rewards. So starting with $150 order, you earn 10% host rewards. So 10% of 150 is $15 for free with $150 order. So that's another good thing to keep in mind. I generally, even as a demonstrator, like way back when, when I was just basically trying to maintain my minimums, I would always put a $150 order in and do a couple of those in the quarter rather than $100, say each month. I do two $150 orders in the quarter because then you get that 10% free in host rewards. And then right now you can get this awesome pattern party designer series paper. It's a 12 by 12 designer series paper. You get 48 different sheets for each of all of the different patterns and it's only $18. That's the fun thing is they give you a deal. Normally they would they would put that in the catalog and charge $30 for it, but because it's a host item, it's only $18 in host dollars. And again, if you don't want any of these things, you can get whatever you want with your host dollars. Oh, this is fun. I'm seeing another look. We've got, hello friend. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. And they kind of, there's not a die, but they just kind of probably fussy cut that out. But isn't, that's cool too. I wasn't even like paying attention to that, but I love that they use some of the designer series paper that I used too, which this is called the pattern party. This is the host designer series paper that you can get for free with a $150 order right now. And I'm gonna show you all of the patterns in this paper because I think it's so cool. And the kind of fun thing, I'll kind of just fan through these here so you can see, oops, we'll do that, all the different patterns, right? We've got, keep going, the stripes, we've got some polka dots, we've got more stripes. And aren't these colors all so fun and bright? Am I gonna fall off the edge almost, right? Because then I actually, these I used, well, this one I used a bunch on swaps, so only have this little bit left, and then I used both of these on the cards that we are going to see in just a moment. But the other fun thing I wanna show you guys, maybe I'll just flip half of them over at a time, or a few. So it's fun, bright colors on this side, and then it's all black and white. Love those flowers right there, right? Black and white on this side, isn't this cool? So here's another, more black and white there. And then these are my little hodgepodge pieces. I only have a little bit of some of these there. But you get the idea. So black and white on one side, and then fun colors on the other side. So isn't that cool? The Pattern Party Host Designer Series paper. And that's what Anna was referring to earlier, that she wants to get that host paper. So this is part of the, the Pattern Party Designer Series paper that we used on this card right here. Okay, so let's get to it, ladies. Chatty Kathy for sure. And then some of our new, the Pale Papaya Ribbon. I've been loving playing with that ribbon. You guys, I am such a ribbon girl. You know what I realized though? They actually, they took away our In Color Ribbon from last year's In Colors and they didn't replace it with anything. I don't know why they made that retire because I loved that twill ribbon that was in each of last year's In Colors. I, I, that just occurred to me. I looked in the catalog and I was like, wait a minute, we don't have any in color ribbon from last year. So I don't know. I haven't looked through the holiday catalog quite as much as I probably should have. I don't think there's, I was going to say, maybe they're surprising us and it's in there. I don't think so, but I don't know. Okay. So I'm like, Woo, where am I? Okay. I'm over here. We're going to do this. So let me give you dimensions um, because then we can do our die cutting and stamping. Okay. So here we go. And you guys know this, right? 
all of the colors, dimensions, item codes, product names, everything that you need to know to make this card yourself will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. I'll get that uploaded this afternoon after we're done with Facebook Live, okay? So you can take notes now, you can rewatch the video, or you can just jump over to my blog and get all the details there in just a little bit this afternoon. Okay, so pool party cardstock along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's our card base. I am freezing. You guys cannot see my goosebumps though, right? I'm gonna just keep working really hard and fast to try to stay warm. This is Granny Apple Green, two and a quarter by five and a half. And then that designer series paper with the black and white on the other side, fun colors on one side, two inches by five and a half inches. So that just layers in there. Then I just have a scrap piece of Whisper White for my sentiment. And then, oh, I have to show you guys this paper too. And you really, ooh, you can kind of see it. This is um, a shimmery vellum in our new in colors. So let me... I think I opened that up already too. Let me make sure that's what it's called. Yeah, 2021-23 in color shimmer vellum. All right, I had it right, good. Okay, so here are all of the colors. So we've got soft succulent, actually here, maybe I'll go this way. Cause it doesn't look as pretty um, when they're layered on top of each other, I don't think, but there we go. Woo, there, can you kind of see that sparkle? Maybe if I make it move a little bit. Pale papaya, fresh freesia, evening evergreen, polished pink, soft succulent. Can you? I did that. I did that really well. I'm very proud of myself because, <laughs> you know, these colors are kind of blanking on me. But can you see the shimmery? Isn't that awesome? Shimmery vellum in our new ink colors. Very, very pretty, huh? Okay. So normally I stamp and then die cut, but I want to know exactly where I'm stamping on this piece. So I'm going to die cut this and then we're going to do our stamping. Okay. So we're gonna scoot that all aside. I'm gonna grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine. If you guys don't have one of these yet, get the starter kit and get one, would you already? They are awesome. Yes, you haven't cut yours yet. <laughs> I love that. I used to be like that too, Susan, but now I'm like, oh, whatever. There's gonna be more fun paper coming, so I might as well use this because then I'm gonna to wanna to play with something else. So um, I didn't even tell you guys, those, this dye label, love, 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 love the label dyes in the Hippo and Friends. So this is the Hippo and Friends dyes. See all these labels. We got a couple of Hippos, great. I've maybe used the Hippos a couple of times. I use these labels all the time though. Okay, so even if you don't need Hippo dyes, get the dyes because you can have all these cool labels with, can you see that stitching on there too, right? Okay, that's it. That's all we have to die cut. That's awesome. Simple cards, but so super cute. Okay, so here's our little label. Put the card back in view so I know what I'm doing and you guys can follow along. We are going to stamp the happy in pool party ink first. Okay, happy right here. I want this little baby. When I'm stamping on my photopolymer, I love to use my little Stampin' Pure smat just to make sure, especially because um, the kind of solid image of the happy. I wanna make sure I get that inked up really well. I'm not pressing too hard though. You guys noticed that. I, I did tap quite a lot, but I wasn't squishing super hard into the ink. So I don't believe I got ink anywhere else that I didn't need it. So there's my happy, right? And then I'm gonna use my Granny Apple Green ink for my birthday. I'm just gonna kind of layer it right over top. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. I'm not squishing super hard. And actually that, I put that happy. Eh, maybe I can. I kind of like it offset a tiny bit. I think I moved, I put the happy over a little bit too far. That'll be okay though. All right, there we go. Happy birthday. Okay. That's all we need for stamping on that one. Okay, I'm actually going to, let's just clean these things because I think I need... I need the happy again. So I'm gonna clean these so they're all ready to go for my next card when it's time to do that too. Okay, doo, 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 doo. we've got a flower punch. Can't remember the name of this one, but I will, I will have it on my blog. 
um, some flower punch with lots of extra flowers. Which way? This is a little bit tricky. Maybe if you kind of put it in at a little bit of an angle, then you don't get too much else punched. It's kind of inevitable that you're gonna get some extra. It just seems to kind of happen. I think the trick is to only make it about as wide as that punch, um, and then you don't get quite as many extra pieces, but you're gonna get some extra, and that's okay, because then you just slide them off away from the camera so nobody sees them. See how I did that, right? Okay, all right, I think we are ready to put uh, ooh, boy, did I throw that, sorry. If you were not awake before, you probably are now. Okay, let's put some things together here, right? So again, the Pattern Party Designer Series Paper free host item in our brand new annual catalog. Okay, so we're gonna put that on. Now we're going to layer this piece right on our card base. Okay, we're gonna just pop that maybe right about there. Then we are gonna tie our beautiful pale papaya. I'm gonna just give myself some extra room to work with that. We're gonna tie a bow. Okay, I think it's kind of helpful if you keep that tight with your finger, if you can do that. It doesn't always work, but it makes a little bit better bow if you can keep it tight there. Otherwise, sometimes it gets kind of loose. There we go, going around the card. Okay, we're just gonna kind of pull, and I'm trying to kind of hold on to the knot. I tend to have to kind of do that, and then I tighten it up, and maybe, so sometimes you have to kind of play with it a little bit to get exactly where you want, but I think that looks pretty good. Let's grab some scissors. Got that one right there. Okay. Alrighty, we are going to scoot that over just a titch more, and that piece is gonna fit right on there, and that's good, actually. Maybe I can get that. I feel like I have a lot of white space there, but we'll just have the bow kind of come right over on that side to cover up some of that white space. I was just a titch off. You know how that happens when you're on Maui time and have Maui brain, right? <laughs> Sharon, thanks for that. <laughs> yes, it's only 6 a.m., 6.30, 6.40 or so in Maui right now. Oh, how I wish I was still there some some days, some ways, ladies. Oh my goodness, it was just beautiful. Okay, so let's see, is that the back side? I think I got the back side now, there. You know what maybe I can do? I wonder if I can put, maybe I'll put my flowers right there and there. And there was something about making sure these were at a good angle when I put them on. Yeah, I think that'll work, right? Okay, so I like to kind of press firmly on those and then kind of bend them up a little bit just to give them a little bit more kind of dimension. And then we'll do one more thing. We're gonna add some of our, these are a partial pack of the Genial Gems. I have used these quite a lot. So this is Pale Papaya again. We'll put one there. And come on, little buddy. And one right there. Okay, that's upside down. That's why I'm like, that doesn't look quite right because I had it upside down. Okay, there we go. So there, our first card. Simple, easy, beautiful. Love that pale papaya, right? That ribbon and that shimmer vellum and those gems and the designer series paper and the stamp set. Love all parts of that. So hopefully you guys like that card. Now we have one more similar idea card. Let me show you this one. Let me scoot these out of the way. Let me get everything out of the way so I don't confuse myself. Okay, so this one. Oh, and that's what I forgot to show you guys. So swap card. I'm going to show you this and then you'll see where I got the idea from. So we've got happy hello friend. Isn't that so cute? And if you were at our Inkspired Stampers team meeting, you might recognize this layout because Miss Nancy Gulick this was her swap card. I meant to show this earlier, and then I tucked it over with um, 
this card because I wanted to show how I got the inspiration. So Nancy designed this card for our shoebox swap at our team meeting, right? And I was like, oh, I just love that. So she did this. Just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. Happy birthday, which this stamp set is retiring. And I'm trying to remember the name of it, but it's in our mini catalog, one of our million dollar sales achievers. And I'm totally drawing a blank, but I love the stamp set. Wish it was not retiring. We barely got to play with it. Um, but this is the pansy paper, which just started. So at least we've got that we can still play with. But yeah, so Sharon, thank you for that card idea. And then I basically cased the layout and I was like, okay, we're going to make a similar card here today for you guys on Facebook Live. Okay, so again, featuring that biggest wishes stamp set. So let me give you dimensions again. Get the inks and so on out here. Okay, so this time... We have our thick Whisper White card base, okay? So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half right here. And then we get super technical here. Over on the four and a quarter or four, excuse me, eight and a half, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. And then again in half at two and one eighth of an inch, okay? So it goes like a regular fold, card and then this panel flops back or flaps back like that so you can see right how we're going to do that card okay then let's see i have this is um, some scrap basic white for our labels and then our designer series paper these are the exact same measurements for both of them so we're going to put one there and there Okay, so this is two pieces of granny apple green that measure two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then more of that fun pattern party, black and white on one side and fun colors on the other. Thank you guys. I'm glad you are enjoying these cards. These two pieces measure two inches by five inches. Okay, so again, we are going to do our die cutting. I'm going to cut both of these and then I'm going to stamp them, which is so opposite of what I normally do. Um, but again, I want to be able to get that placed and better than I did on the last one. I'm gonna to have to make sure I get my happy in the right spot. Okay, so let's grab our die cutting and embossing machine. Okay. And we've got our basic white cardstock with our magnetic platform. Mm, where are my dies? Right here. Okay, so these are the stitched so sweetly dies that thank goodness are still carrying over. Oh, Susan says, I will definitely be casing these cards. <laughs> I'm glad I have all the products. Ooh, plus you're on vacation for a while, so you have lots of time to play then. Is that what I'm hearing, Susan? That is awesome. Okay, so again, the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Yeah, so you can do, you know, you can, whatever theme you need, right? You could make those masculine cards too, if you know, just depending on the designer series paper. Um, yeah, so you could do, yeah, you could do like a masculine card and just use the block font. That kind of feels more masculine to me, like, like happy birth, happy there and birthday on the inside. That could be kind of fun too. Okay. Wheels are turning now, ladies. So we're going to pop those out. That's all good. Okay. And again, we're all done with our die cutting. So simple die cutting. Love how everything coordinates though. It's always the beauty of stamping up. And you guys can see that here, right? So Flirty Flamingo ink, and that's Flirty Flamingo in the designer series paper. And then this color is Granny Apple Green. And then we've got the Granny Apple Green cardstock. And it's basically all pulled from the designer series paper. I look at the colors in the designer series paper, pull my cardstock and my ink. So stinking simple, right ladies? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so Flirty Flamingo ink for our happy. Where's my happy? I used it on the other one. I knew I needed it. Okay, so here's our happy right here. The biggest thing is to make sure it's not like crooked, that you've got it like lined up with what we've got going on here, I think, hopefully. Yeah, okay, whew. I, should, I was like, I should have waited to point that out after I did it right, but... Okay, pressure's off. I did it. <laughs> okay, so happy and then hello goes on that one. There's just something about those, the two fonts together and like layering over top of each other. I just think that's so, so fun. Okay, and then we've got friend on that one. There we go. Okay, 
So again, simple stamping, simple die cutting, super cute card. So easy to make cute cards, right ladies? Okay, so here we go. We are gonna add some adhesive to each of our pieces of designer series paper, okay? Oops, sometimes when I use that, it comes apart a little bit. So I'm trying to like press on it and put it back together as we are using it there. Just press on the table with it. Okay, so now this one, I will tell you, I'm gonna add adhesive all over the back of this piece and I'm gonna add it to the inside of my card. But the other one, I don't wanna put adhesive all over this because there's this little edge right along here. I don't want ink or um, adhesive on that. So that's gonna go on there, but it hangs off the edge just that little bit. So I'm gonna actually put adhesive right on here, on the base, the card base itself. And then I'm going to add that on right there. And I'm gonna press really firmly. Okay, so there we go, we got that, right? Now, again, I want only adhesive on this half of this piece. Oops, I just bent that as I picked it up. We're gonna put that happy hello. Isn't that so cute? A happy hello, friend. Love it. Okay, bunch of adhesive on this one. And I'm gonna put that on kind of lightly and make sure, yep. Okay, so that's gonna cover it all up. So I got it in the right place. I just didn't wanna press firmly until I knew I had it where I wanted it. Now we have some of the Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon. Just a great all around easy, super easy to work with ribbon. And we're gonna tie a bow with this one right here again. You guys, like I said, can't have enough ribbon Always so excited to see the new ribbon in the annual catalog and then have to like buy it up right away. So I have all of the different choices of what ribbon are we gonna use on our projects, right? Okay, gotta tighten that up a little bit. So it seems like whenever I futz with it, then the knot comes a little bit loose. So I'm kind of trying to hold it, but this one's actually really easy to work with. This Whisper White, the crinkled seam binding ribbon, okay. Cut that right there, there we go. Okay, last little bit, I have to add my bling. So I've got, I'm gonna show you, this is what it looks like after you've used it for a while. This is how they come, the, oops, it's upside down, the Artistry Blooms Adhesive Backed Sequins, okay? So that's a brand new package that I haven't even opened yet. This is, like I said, what you've, when you've been playing with things for a while, this is all I have left. <laughs> okay, so they come in, I think this is Rich Razzleberry, Bashful Blue, and that, okay, I don't know these colors, maybe Calypso Coral, and I don't know. But I, I like, I wanted to use the I don't know, it's a little bit orangey, honestly. I used one small one, kind of down in that corner, and then I used a big one um, up, right, maybe about there. And then I did use my Calypso Coral. I used a little bit different color. They're pretty similar, if you guys can kind of see that. Um, and then I put this one on my friend right there. And that is it. So simple, right? But cute, fun, happy hello, friend. Love to send that to card to somebody who needs a little hello, a little pick-me-up maybe. Happy hello, friend. Uh, so there we go. Love it, huh? So you guys, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me today. It's so good to be back. And let's see, you know, I have to do my quick recap here as things are craft or math. Woo, boy, has it happened. It's like in full force over here, but that's all right. Hello, good morning, Miss Diana. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so you guys know the drill, right? If you put at least a $30 online order in, you will get both of these cards. You get one of each of the Happy Hello Friend and the Happy Birthday card. You also get your name in the drawing to win the biggest wish stamp set that we just used on these cards, right? And if you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from the free embellishment, which are the in-color gems or the PDF tutorial, either one with your $50 order. Just make sure you use the host code right here, the Y9REY. P3Z. All right, 
You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's great to be back. Love to be stamping and sharing with you guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully you have a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, hopefully you've got some like fun or relaxing holiday weekend plans. And we will see you guys next Friday. Bye, everybody. Take care.